Hello guys and welcome. I am Ahmad Adel and this is Cost Engineering Professional and in this video I'll show you how to form a BOQ in Excel. If you guys like our content please like, share, subscribe, comment, do everything guys to support this content and with this let's get into the video. All right guys welcome back. Now I have these items that I have quantified before and I want to make a BOQ for uh, these items. So I have here pile caps, tie beams, plinth walls, ground floor slab. Then uh, we have, let's say, the superstructure, which is drop beams, slabs, parapets, columns. So I'll just go here and I'll create a new tab and let's call this BOQ. And what I'll do here, I'll do some formatting, select all times new Roman, then center. And here, let's choose uh, two decimals. And what I want to do, guys, let's say here, serial number, then item description, then unit quantity rate amount. Okay, this is the first step. Second thing I want to do is I'll go here. Um, maybe it's behind my cam, but you will select page break preview. So it will look something like that. You just expand this and expand it one uh, column here and then bring this column like that. Let's select these columns and choose all borders. And here I'll go and choose more borders. I'll choose the vertical ones and the last one. So it will look something like that. And here, again, I'll do, let's say, all borders. And let's make this bold. It will look good now, guys. Just let's do the formatting. Then I'll go to Control P. And from here, instead of letter, choose A4, guys. And narrow margins. And fit all columns on one page. Then go here again and try to expand it a little bit. So I'm just adding more rows. Okay. Now unit, quantity, rate, and amount. And as you can see, guys, the first page will end here. So I'll start deleting rows until this comes here. So it will look something like that. Still, I need to make it a little bit wider so I can expand this a little bit. And on top of that here, I can like put the, the client name and the, the project name, client. And client. And I can say here project. And you can have the consultant as well or engineer. And then let's make this column left to right. And only this one will be in the center. And let's have these as well in bold. So let's expand this one. And delete some rows again. Until it looks good, let's go to page setup, margins, horizontal. And it will look something like that. If I need more than one page, I can drag this blue line and you can copy this row for example and you can apply it here as well and you keep adding rows until the beige break appears you can here will make this row bold and i'll copy it and paste it here so i have page one let's say let's say here total page one and total page two. Okay, and I can put here any currency that I am using. Okay, there is one last part here from page layout, print titles. You go to rows to be repeated at top and make sure you select these rows. Why? Because now when I go to print preview, Okay, 
You see, the second page needs to have some rows deleted. So I'll delete this much of rows and I'll bring this line here and I don't need these rows. So these are my two pages. They look like that, guys. I can add one row here. That's fine. So you see, page one, page two, page one, page two. Okay. And now let's say, for example, um, the description will be supply or let's put the division name first. So I'll say bill number three and that's concrete works. Let's have it bold and underlined. Bill number three, concrete works. Then here, let's put a description, supply and cast reinforced concrete elements including all required manpower shuttering uh, steel concrete and all required uh, fittings and accessories all dot here all as per project drawings specs and engineers approval something like that then select it and you go to wrap text so it will look like that you can make it bold supply and cast reinforced concrete elements including all required manpower shuttering steel concrete and required and all required fittings and accessories all as pair or all in accordance with all in accordance with project drawings, specs, and engineer's approval. Now I can, I'll need to delete few rows. So it looks like that here. Now I have item number A, or let's, okay, let's not have a serial number here. First of all, guys, we have um, substructure and we have superstructure. So here I'll say substructure. And you can have this one bold and underlined. And then under substructure, what are the items that I have? File caps, tie beams, plinth walls, and ground floor slabs. So I'll say RC, file caps, RC, tie, beams, then RC, plinth, walls, and RC, slab on it's, it's actually a suspended slab, so RC, ground floor slab. And what is the unit here? That's cubic meter. So you select this tree and format cells, and you go for super strike. So it will look something like that, and then you can have this everywhere. And let's say here superstructure. Super structure, and I can call this. Actually, we have also the um, the PCC, PCC for foundations, and this can be in cubic meter or square meter. That's fine. Then let's have here RC columns, RC beams, RC slabs. And if you have a staircase, RC staircase or RC stairs, then RC parapets. Okay, and I'll just put these units here. And I can delete some rows. And how it looks like, looks something like that now. Okay. Then quantity, I'll just link. I'll say equal to ceiling, guys. Choose this ceiling. Why? To remove the fractions. So 5.8 will be 6 here, equal to ceiling, RC tie beams, sorry, this one will come because we didn't calculate any PCC, so I'll just keep it blank, and here I'll put the file caps, then tie beams, and length walls, ceiling also, 
and ceiling for the ground floor slab, 19. Then RC columns, ceiling. This is the columns. Then ceiling, RC beams. Where are the beams? Here. Then RC slabs. These are the slabs. RC parapets. Parapets. Okay. And just to, to run the formulas, let's have some rates here. Or tie beams. Just something, guys, to run the formulas here. Okay, I don't have here any quantity or rate, that's fine. Just amount will be equal to quantity multiplied by rate. Then you can use the same formula here. And here you can have auto sum. So this is the submission of all these items. And then page number two, we don't have anything. So I can create a, a summary page here. Like in, in this page, in the second page, I can copy this and paste it here. And I can say between two brackets, continued. Like this is the second page. And I can say here, contractor to price any additional items related to this section or this division. And again, I'll make it bold. And I, we can keep this for any additional items. And then again, let's delete one. And let's copy the row as before. And I want to have page number three. And I'll tell you why now. OK. Just here, let's do all borders. And this will be, let's write here, total concrete works or total bill number three. Total bill number three, concrete works. We can do this bold. Okay. And here again, currency. And okay. I'll copy this one and I'll paste it here. Again, bill number three continued. And I'll say here, summary. You can make this bold. Then here I can say page one and page two. Okay, so page one is equal to this. And page two is equal to this, which is zero right now. And what is the total concrete division is this and this value will go to the BOQ summary. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this content, I hope you you know what to do: like, share, subscribe, comment, do everything to help us spread this uh, content. And with this, guys, see you in the next video.